What's up, guys? So, my name's Lisa, for those of you that don't know. I, um, I'm just going to make this quick video. It's about gratitude. God put it on my heart this morning. He reminded me of this uh, particular night that I was in a hospital. I wasn't the patient. My son was the patient. Uh, we lived at this hospital in Fort Lauderdale for about five years of our life. And, um, because my son was sick and anyway, one particular night we were there and we would go there for like a week, get out for like a day or two and then go back and be there for another week. And, and we did that for five years. And so we're there and there's, it's like three 30 in the morning and I'm up because you don't really, I mean, how can you sleep? You know, like, um, so I'm there and I'm just overwhelmed My son's in the hospital. This has already been going on for probably at least three years. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but um, I'm feeling sorry for myself. I'm hating my life. I'm, I don't understand like why God has made my life so difficult because I feel like since I've been born or conceived, I've just been <laughs> a problem. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm just sitting, oh, this is, you know, how I was feeling this one particular night. I'm just like feeling sorry for myself. And, you know, when my son is sick, I can't, I can't work and, you know, money is tight and bills need to be paid. And, you know, it's just <sighs> most of the time I can stay in faith, but a lot of the time, or sometimes, you know, I lose it. Everybody lose it. Nobody can be like perfect all the time or, or like on the ball all the time. You know, sometimes you just drop the ball. Right. And so I'm feeling sorry for myself. And, uh, all of a sudden I hear this scream and I knew like, my heart like dropped to my stomach because I just knew that was the scream of a mother who had just lost their child. And that's how God has worked in my life. <laughs> when I think I have it bad. I'm reminded of how much worse things could be. That lady, she didn't get to leave the hospital with her child. And I still have mine. And You know, when it all boils down to it, like, the stuff I was worried about, the stuff about feeling sorry for myself about, it's like, it's all small stuff. And you know, gratitude is everything. And I talk about it a lot, you know, it's like, it's just been like magic in my life, you know, because it can really, just like that particular incident, it can just make the darkest, hardest of times so much better. You can just see the beauty in even the darkest of times. You know, that lady, she taught me a lesson that day. And I'll never forget her or her child. Life can be so crazy, you know, but it's really about being in the moment 
I know that I have had to really learn how to do that. And I'm so grateful to the woman who taught me, who first said to me, look down at your feet, Lisa. And I just remember thinking like, what the fuck is this woman talking about? Look down at my feet. Doesn't she know what the fuck is going on? Does she hear what I'm saying to her? You know? <laughs> and she was like, are you doing it? And I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. And she's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm looking down at my feet. And she's like, well, where are you? I'm like, I'm in my room. I'm in, I'm in my house. You know, I just walked in my house. You know, I had bags of groceries all over my hands and I was holding my son. And she's like, that's the only moment. This is the only moment that matters. That's what, you know, you look down at your feet. It reminds you where you are. Take a deep breath. You look up. And you just do what's in front of you to do. And the next time that you start getting overwhelmed and feeling whirly and crazy and ungrateful and want to spit and you hate in your life, you look down at your feet and it'll remind you where you are because where you are is all that matters. Where you are is all that counts. Forever is now, people. <laughs> Be grateful. Stay grateful. Don't forget where you come from. I love you. Stay small. <laughs>